Hi guys, so in this short video, I'm going to try and talk about the treatment regimens that are used for the treatment or eradication of a H. pylori infection. So that's nothing but a Helicobacter pylori infection. So the popular regimens used include a triple therapy regimen and a quadruple therapy regimen. And as the name suggests, the triple therapy regimen consists of three drugs and the quadruple th therapy regimen consists of four drugs, both given for a period of 14 days. So firstly, let's talk about the triple therapy regimen. So the triple therapy regimen consists of one PPI and two antibiotics, one PPI and two antibiotics. So the commonly used PPI or a proton pump inhibitor is omeprazole. The commonly used PPI in most of these therapy regimens or in most of these regimens rather is omeprazole. Lansoprazole and esomeprazole may also be used, but omeprazole is the popular one. And the two antibiotics include clarithromycin and either amoxicillin or metronidazole, either one, not both, either one. So clarithromycin is compulsory, C for C, and either amoxicillin or metronidazole. And this is, the triple therapy is usually a first line therapy for H. pylori eradication. And it can be remembered easily using the mnemonic CAMEO, where C stands for clarithromycin, A stands for amoxicillin, M and E come together and stand for metronidazole and O stands for omeprazole. So cameo for triple therapy regimen. Now, usually when the triple therapy regimen fails, the quadruple therapy regimen is tried. So this is also called the second line of treatment for H. pylori. So the quadruple therapy regimen, again, as the name suggests, has four drugs, which include one PPI, usually omeprazole, and two antibiotics, which include tetracycline and metronidazole. And also remember, bismuth is added during this regimen. So bismuth is only part of the quadruple therapy regimen. So one PPI, two antibiotics and bismuth can be easily remembered using the mnemonic TOMB, T-O-M-B, TOMB, where T stands for tetracycline, O for meprozole, M for metronidazole and B for bismuth. So again, everything is part of this. So T-O-M-B, four letters for four drugs used in the quadruple therapy regimen. Both the triple therapy regimen and quadruple therapy regimen are given for a total of 14 days or two weeks. Now, in case we identify a clarithromycin resistant, clarithromycin resistant H. pylori strain, then we go for a regimen called the LOA regimen, which is again, which is given only for 10 days, which includes levofloxacin, PPI, which is omeprazole and amoxicillin. So amoxicillin and omeprazole come together and you add an additional levofloxacin instead of the clarithromycin. So in case of clarithromycin resistant H. pylori, levofloxacin is used instead of clarithromycin. Lastly, before I close, I just want to say there's also something called a sequential regimen of treatment, which a lot of people use, which is again a 10 day regimen, unlike the triple and quadruple, which are 14 day regimens. This is a 10 day regimen, which goes as 5OA plus 5OCT, where you have five days of omeprazole plus amoxicillin, followed by five days of omeprazole plus clarithromycin plus tetracycline. So this is something called a sequential regimen, which is gaining popularity now. So that's it for this short video on the treatment regimens for a H. pylori infection. Thank you.